I see. The question is, my dear, whether you're real or not. Not. All right, welcome back to the Root BSD channel. Today I am sh trying out my new hardware. I got it all up and ready with my configurations. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys uh, just what I'm running here. Let's see. This is a Hewlett Packard HP Elite Desk 800 G1 small form factor. And I received this as a gift to the channel by our sponsor at Retro Edge Tech at uh, he has a channel on Odyssey. Now, I gotta say, this is hands down the best hardware I've ever used OpenBSD on. Everything is really snappy, really fast. Um, I got 1440p, 60 frame rate per second streaming on YouTube. 3D games are running fantastic. And overall, the system is just really snappy. It's running on an, a Samsung SSD. And uh, we got, uh, we got uh, 12 gigabytes of memory and um, it's running on an Intel i5 4 core at 3.29 gigahertz and of course we're using my favorite window manager Starfish and today what I'd, what I'd like to do is just kinda show you uh, how the performance is on the system uh, we're gonna play a quick video game called Wrath Aeon of Ruin and it has a native port uh, uh, called Wrath in uh, games and also, uh, we're going to go over kind of the direction of the channel and things about the channel. So it'll be fun. So first, I'd like to show you how fast Chrome loads. So it's pretty much almost instant. And um, the music you heard in the intro is a friend of the channel named Matt's Medicine or DJ Medicine. And the song is called Real or Not. Uh, definitely a, a check medicine out. He's on SoundCloud under DJ Matt's Medicine, and he's also on YouTube under Medicine DMB is the name of the channel, and that's uh, also called Matt's Medicine. So definitely check medicine out. He's a great DJ, great producer, and uh, he gave me permission to use his music in in the intro of my videos, and I'm I'm really grateful Matt for that. So I always promote your channel. And uh, let's just show you how uh, how streaming is. Let's see, 4K video. And you can see right here. Let's see. Let's make sure. This is just at 1080p for the screencasting. But you can see we have nice uh, crisp video, and uh, when I'm not screencasting, I can even do higher resolution. Tea time. Look at that bugger. <laughs> so yeah, let's see if I can get some more motion shots here. Uh, I think that I think that does it justice. You can see how how crisp and uh, clean it is. You can see how uh, quickly everything loads. Um, I'm very very impressed by how OpenBSD set. This is OpenBSD 7.0 current, and I'm very impressed on how it's running on this system. So let's uh, let's play some video games. Now you can get this game in Steam. It's called Wrath Aeon of Ruin, and it's it's basically kind of a a, a, a love letter to the original Quake games. Uh, start with this one. Actually, we'll, I'll show you a new game. Uh, oh, it's kind of freaking out in the background. <laughs> Begin. There we go. Alrighty. Now you guys know that I'm terrible at games, so don't be surprised if I die early. Alright, where am I? <clears throat> I'm in a crystal dungeon. Ooh, look at that slick sword on my hand. I wish I, I could cut some vegetables with those things. 
Except we're gonna cut off some zombies' heads. And this game uses soul tethers for saving. Saving, it's really interesting concepts in this game. Now this game is not completely finished yet, uh, last time I checked. Um, they're working on kind of adding levels or a couple levels on at a time as they go. And you can see how how uh, how quickly the character moves around, how smooth it is. I wish I could run this fast in real life. I would uh, I would probably not need to drive. I could just run down the freeway like Naruto and just be like, "Wee!" <laughs> All right, let's let's do the first level here. some pottery. Ooh, no, no secrets. Sometimes if you break these things, there's stuff behind them. Oh, where is he? There he is. Get the zombies. There's an uh, OpenBSD, develop OpenBSD developer named Soline who did a, a real playthrough of this game, got a lot farther. I'm just kind of demoing it. All right, we got a gun now, but I don't want to waste the bullets on the on the zombies. Save the bullets for the big guys. So you can just power through these guys. There was a there was a secret over here somewhere. I think it's in here. Yeah, right here. Press control to crouch. And you get the helm. There we go. Which way am I going? I'm going this way. Now we're going to want this gun. You can tell I've probably played this level before. Just a little bit. Ah! I shouldn't have wasted the bullets like that. Ah! Sometimes the controls feel a little too fast. Ah! Maybe it's they're supposed to be that way. Oh! And I died. Wow, that didn't take very long. Let's try it one more time. Alright. This is pretty fun, actually. To be perfectly honest, this is actually my second time recording this video. The first time, I had... Oh! The first time I recorded this, I uh, I had imported my FMmpeg screencasting command from my laptop and completely forgot to change the screen resolution, so the whole thing was clipped. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and redo this. I, I hate redoing videos, but sometimes it's just a necessary evil. Alright. I gotta not mindlessly run in there next time, this time. Ah, I'm 
I'm stuck. Well, that was no fun. Let's get some life. Alright. This is where these guys, they gang up on me. Oh, right over here. Let's see if I can avoid them over there. Just take cheap shots around the corner. Boom! Boom! Ah! Where'd he go? He's gonna sneak up on me. I know it. I don't see him. Let's run over here real quick. Where'd he go? I hear him. He's close by. Man, I need help so bad. Too bad this doesn't give you health. That'd be nice. It gives you armor. That could be useful. Yeah, let's pick up that health I missed. Is there a health in here? No. We'll find it. Something. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, well, that just kind of shows you shows you the game. Shows you how it runs. It's called Wrath Aeon of Ruin, and it does run natively in OpenBSD. All right, and we'll get to the other part of this video. Okay, about me. My name is James, but you can call me RootBSD. I am a professional... Eh, type this a little fast. I am a professional cook by trade. Uh, I do want to switch to a computer career. Most likely web development, because I think that's the easiest one to break into. Uh, I have been using OpenBSD for about four years now, and mostly daily driving it. I made this channel on a whim. I did not expect it to do so good. So this had me thinking about, well, what, what direction am I going to take this channel? What kind of a channel is it going to be? So I decided that I'm going to stick with OpenBSD content for now. Maybe some free BSD, ghost BSD content in the future. Mainly because, you know, I, I'm good at OpenBSD, I know it really well, and I'm passionate about it. And it just makes sense for me just to continue doing OpenBSD. Um, and, and in the future, I, I want it to kind of just be organic. If some other stuff comes up, I you know where I want to try some FreeBSD or do some stuff with Linux, we'll, we'll do that. But for now, my channel is going to be an OpenBSD channel. Um, my next uh, series of videos that I want to do is I want to do a complete uh, read-through of the OpenBSD uh, Frequently Asked Questions. Uh, you, and I definitely want to use... Uh, this is one of my favorite web browsers for reading. This is called Lynx. This is the graphical frame buffer build in OpenBSD packages. It's called just called Lynx Plus, like the symbol plus. And um, and it's just really easy on the eyes for reading. And I want to go through with you guys and, and actually on each episode, go through each section of the FAQ and we're going to learn the entire FAQ together. And then I'll you know, bring up a terminal and, we'll, and I'll do examples of the commands. You know, if we need to format drives, we'll format uh, some USB sticks, and um, and we're gonna go through the entire thing. And uh, you know, if you guys really like it, I might even try some of these other things, like the uh, the Porter's Handbook, or um, you know, building the you know, we're gonna build the system from source. We're gonna do all these really neat things. And on top of that, uh, I want to do systematic guides and reviews on base and ports packages, commands, features, etc. I want to just give go through OpenBSD in and out. Just give it a, just the, give it an entire, just a comb over every little aspect of it. Uh, guide to CWM, the, store, the Starfish Windows Manager, I'm sorry, the Starfish Window Manager, which is my favorite window manager, by the way, and the only one that I use. And uh, user management, daemons, porting new software, uh, you know, anything, anything you can think of. I already have a list of like 56 uh, uh, topics uh, that are OpenBSD specific to, to go over. Um, and I definitely want to strike a balance between beginners uh, topics and advanced topics. So we'll definitely do that. And we'll do the occasional gaming video. You know, I'm not a gamer. I suck at games. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Um, but we'll do an occasional gaming video because I know people like to see gaming on OpenBSD. And there's some good stuff out there. 
Uh, you know, I, there's more good titles on FNA uh, that work with FNA that I want to try. And as time goes by, um, more po the more popular videos that I make will get refreshers and remakes, like the OpenBSC security video I just did. Great video, definitely needs to get a remake for the audio because I kind of just did that one uh, at night and uh, my kids were trying to sleep and the TV was on and, and the house was just noisy. So I, I, did, I went in the bathroom and turned on the fan and recorded in there, but I didn't realize that the echo and the reverb would sound kind of weird and terrible. So uh, we'll definitely remake that one and probably get more in depth into the topic. And, um, and also as I get better equipment. Now, for one thing though, I am in no hurry to get a webcam. You don't need to stare deep and longingly into my eyes while I discuss tech. You know, you guys got, you got, um, you got DT for that. DT's got the 4K video. You can zoom in and see the pores on his face. It's so, it's so crisp. Um, I mean, look at, look at, you know, Mental Outlaw, he never shows his face. It doesn't really matter. What's, what, what's important is the topic of the video. And, uh, this channel for the most part is going to be an educational channel. Not an entertainment meme channel. You got plenty of those on YouTube. And that, that, that's not to say that I'm, I'm going to definitely always try to make the learning process fun and um, keep, keep your interest and have it not be boring or stuffy or dry. And, and as soon as we hit 1,000 subs, we're sinking to Odyssey. I definitely want this channel on Odyssey. I don't want to be able to be canceled. You know, I don't know why anybody would cancel somebody over using OpenBSD, but you never know these days. You know, <laughs> you know they might in the future be like, oh, you're, you're promoting something that makes it hard for us to spy on people. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> um, and, and no live streams in the foreseeable future. I, I, I don't really want this channel to center around me, center around me as a personality. I want the focus to be on OpenBSD and, and learning the tech and learning uh, everything you can about you know the command line and the and the and the, uh, the daemons and the the utilities and, and base and everything. Um, and also, I have a job and kids and very limited free time. The videos I make tend to take about two to three hours plus to make each one. You know, that's just from planning, doing the art and GIMP, the actual recording itself, then the render, or, you know, the editing in uh, Caden Live and the rendering, and then the uploading, and you have to put in a ton of information into YouTube to make sure that your, your channel can be, you know, you know all, the, all the tags so it's searchable and people can find it. So there's a lot of work that goes into making YouTube videos. And I learned that the hard way, you know. And when I first started out with this, I was staying up till like three, four, or five in the morning sometimes making these videos. And and uh, it got to be where I almost like burnt out and just gave up on it. <laughs> but you know, you guys, as you guys can see, I'm not giving up on anything. And you know, there's only one way to fail. That's to quit. So I learned that from uh, from my favorite rapper King Iso and from uh, uh, The Rock and, and other good guys that you know are very motivational because they never gave up. You know and. And I, and I definitely, I'm not going to give up on this channel either. And uh, I think OpenBSC is going to uh, become more popular as we go in the future. And uh, one other quick thing I want to show you guys. Uh, let's see here. Also, I, uh, I don't know if you've noticed in my descriptions, but I've been posting this. I have uh, my own uh, re repository for my configs on Notabug. And Notabug is a great place to host your code. And what's great about it, uh, as opposed to GitLab, is that it uses uh, Libra.js. So uh, not, not a bug is free software foundation friendly. It uses Libra JavaScript. And uh, definitely uh, if, if you're interested, um, I broke it up into uh, what's in my home folder. And uh, most all of OpenBSD uh, system configuration is all gonna be in the etc folder. So I have that all right here. And um, right now this is just all the stuff that was on my laptop. I will put some of the desktop specific files up here soon, like uh, like my 20radeon.com, my Radeon config. So uh, so yeah, definitely check out my configs, and also in my configs are a lot of hints as to how to optimize desktop performance. And you can see how I get my desktop so snappy and nice on, on these systems. So uh, so that's all for today. A short video, but uh, you know uh, I'm looking forward to the future. I'm looking forward to going. To the um, let's see here, to the going through the frequently asked questions, and I and I hope to learn uh, just as much as you guys. And uh, by the end of it, you know the people that stick with my channel are going to be OpenBSD experts, and you will be you know committing 
co- uh, code to the developers and uh, joining the hackathons. Maybe, well, maybe one of you will inspire to become an OpenBSD developer, and who knows, maybe I, I influence the next generation to uh, take care of OpenBSD. That's probably a good thing, because, you know, uh, those guys aren't going to live forever. All right, well, that's all. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and bye.